performer is Mohamed Ali Umer, is a Toronto hip-hop rap artist. He says he started spitting rhymes at the age of 16 in high school on park benches and inside stairwells. Within a few years, his passion for music grew stronger and combined with a passion for social justice became a force to be reckoned with. All of this while still bringing forward a message of peace, unity, and solidarity. So Mohamed Ali has created a set just for tonight's event, so we should be in for a special treat. Welcome, Connor. Thank you. Everyone, so this is a few seconds to uh, set the stage. I think I see clear those chairs behind me. Um, so, how's everybody doing today? Good. All right. Where's the big homie Chris at? So, 15 minutes. So, really quickly, um, as we just uh, set up the stage a little bit. Oh, um, thank you. Um, I just want uh, everyone to do, do me a little favor. So, I'm actually creating a, a, new, a new video logo. So, it's an animated logo. And as part of that, I need um, a, li a little audio clip of a crowd of people that really love music, that really love progressive politics, that really support the real movement to support you know, me and Isa's movement, and our movement is socialist hip hop. So as long as Chris is recording, we good? Uh, on the count of three, can everyone at the top of their lungs just say socialist hip hop? Socialist hip hop! So all together at the same time. One, two, three. Socialist hip hop! Is the movement. Thank you very, very much. All right, so yo, we're gonna get, get, get underway. Yes, check, check, all right. So, can y'all hear us really well? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna start off by doing a little song that I just dropped a music video for. My man Chris right here actually filmed it. It's called Precarious Work, and it's a really, really simple concept. It's about young people and being told to go out there, get a job, stop being a lazy millennial. Everything's fine, the jobs are all out there, but we all know it's not that simple. So do a little track to speak from the perspective of young workers, of millennials, and it goes a little something like this. You the people, stand up. We the people, get your hands up. Unless you ain't handcuffs, I wanna see you amped up. We the people, keep your hands up. You the people, stand up. We the people, get your hands up. Unless you ain't handcuffs, I wanna see you amped up. We the people, keep your hands up. This for Ralph Chaplin, this one for Tom Morello, this for the Wobbies and the workers, what's up, hello? Let's have a dialogue on private sector pirate laws and fight to work for less as goddess in a fight for jobs. Yep. We sign a union cover pride because we go haywire, this is a paid market riot mob. Flipping burgers with a bachelor's degree, serve it to you on my masters, what's the matter to me? Call me a millennial, Facebook status, Instagram addict, PlayStation, Xbox habit. You tell me get a job, okay. Where your job's at? You got some nerve, sir, some wherewithal. Why do you think graffiti kids is trying to mark the spot? You don't think we'd rather have a pension and a parking spot? Uh -huh. You don't understand, you must be in the dark a lot. I can't even get an interview at Target, dog. We the people, stand up. We the people, get your hands up. Unless you ain't handcuffs, I wanna see you amped up. We the people, get your hands up. You the people, stand up. We the people, get your hands up. Unless you ain't handcuffs, I wanna see you amped up. We the people. Keep them hands up. Yo, people, get your hands up. But you're looking at us like we got our hands out. You speak up a little too loud, here comes the handcuffs. Man down. down. They say get an education. I can even get a phone call with my education. No job security, no pension plans. I can even put no food on the table. Damn. Damn. How did it get this way? Funny getting cut more every day. Mm. They're putting billions in prisons. Uh. High school pipeline been getting fitted. Uh, but we can turn the blind eye, the gap be getting bigger while we on the sidelines. So, so it's time to get amped, son. Just tell them how you feel and keep them hands up. up. You the people, stand up. We the people, get your hands up. Unless you ain't handcuffs, I wanna see you amped up. We the people, keep your hands up. You the people, stand up. We the people, get your hands up. Unless you ain't handcuffs, I wanna see you amped up. We the people, keep your hands up. Out of the union like I'm uniform. If I had one, then I'd be in the uniform. That's what I'm at your college pushing units for, is utilizing student minds. What I went to uni for. Uh. Say good job ain't what it used to be. Nope. Pay our living wage ain't ready for its eulogy. Time to unify, wouldn't you agree? Yep. Measure the units of the unions by the unity of you and me. Got a dictionary in the area. They say I'm useless, but it's not totalitarian. They're telling me I'm smart, but my union isn't. Kiss my you know what. There's a euphemism. Trade unionism. And you can help me. You can't turn me to a robot, but I'm user friendly. Uh -huh. Time to unify, wouldn't you agree? Measure the units of the unions by the unity of you and me. We the people, 
stand up. You the people. Get them hands up. Unless you in handcuffs. I want to see you amped up. We the people. Get them hands up. You the people. Stand up. We the people. Get them hands up. Unless you in handcuffs. I want to see you amped up. We the people. Get them hands up. Yo, you work at Mickey D's? What's it like there? Work at Starbucks? How's the child care? Is your baby sack? Where your wages at? Rent, food, utilities. Are we making that? Nope. Does your hard work seem to have an odd worth? Mm. Do your arms hurt? Yep. Damn, does your car work? Nope. You travel the train across the whole city map, spend the first two hours making that back. Now, how much are you worth as a whole? Does 11 bucks an hour seem a little bit low? I mean, did you even know? Did you ever think if we all walked out, stores closing in a blink, if we yeah. all call them sick? Who would stock the shelves if the bosses took over? Would they do it just as well? Does the clothing sell itself, putting dollars in their pockets? No. no. Does the cash register the profit? Oh, you the people? Stand up. We the people, get your hands up. Unless you're in handcuffs, I want to see you amped up. We the people, get them hands up. Yeah. yeah. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stay for the rest of the evening because I have a very wonderful date with a very wonderful lady. But I am going to be out in front, so if you want to duck out for a minute and you want a free CD or you want to support and buy a CD, I'll, I'll be out there after the performance. Um, it's not my fault. It's hers. But we're <laughs> <laughs> going to move on on some, on some anti-racism music for y'all, you know what I'm saying? And this is us paying off. The, the first song was about young people saying, yo, listen to us, we got something to say. This one is about us. You know, paying respect, to paying homage to our leaders, to our forefathers. And it goes a little something like this. We them overseas kings turned slaves by overseers. We them beauty queens turned to booty jeans over sneakers. Once announcers, but left without an ounce of freedom. We've been really lynched, we've been pounced and beaten. The sand strip first, they banned it, and we were branded bandits. Yet and still we can't quit. They can honest land trip, ran down to the ground like sowing seeds of cotton. But the fruits of the slaver smells of something rotten. This land of freed slaves, sugar cane bitter sweet. Just like Alabama, streets would hang by its feet. No defeat from, no retreat from defeat. Now we meet the deceit, open combat, arms stacked in that war drum beat us, the sons of Madiba, the daughters of Asada. With resistance in our sonnets, no need to raise an armament to raise revolution. That's like Nat Turner, don't need no gap burner, because we pack that sojourner, it's Muhammad, dog. We the sons of Madiba, the daughters of Asada, the sisters of Mumia, the brothers of Gorada. We the sons of Madiba, the daughters of Asada, the sisters of Mumia, the brothers of Gavara. We the sons of Asada, the sisters of Asada, the sisters of Mumia, the brothers of Gavara. It goes a little something like this. In a grand circus, we chant verses and chant purses on your aunt's purchase, because damn it, our blank's worthless. We spit fan service plan with a grand purpose. But then, they ask us to jump like Mike. Better worse, twerk like Marley. Big grin, bug-eyed smiley. Cold spitters been turned to court jesters. Like a used car salesman talking about a chrome Lexus. For instance, the press appropriate our resistance. How you think a poor slave slave is in existence doing dirty work for peanuts like pig pen? Dog, we waging war against extinction. Yo, Martin Luther King felt the marksman shooter sting. Marking that future swing to a marketing super binge. I said, Martin Luther King felt the marksman shooter sting. Marking a future swing to a marketing super binge. We the sons of Madiba, the daughters of Asada, the sisters of Mumia, the brothers of Guevara. We the sons of Madiba, the daughters of Asada, the sisters of Mumia, the brothers of Guevara. We got one more for y'all. Got one more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got one more, and this is one I truly want you to listen to. In what we hear in one ear, elders saying, "Yo, let's go." In the other ear, elders saying, "Yo, let go." Paddling hope, so we believe in going forward. But remind me why we heading overseas and getting tortured? Uh. They ain't speaking with the same voice, truly they never did. They jailing us with labels. What a clever trick to lock our minds in glass jars to contain and detain us. Uh. And filling those jars with bubbles of champagne and cocaine dust. I know a few understand what I'm talking about. For a rose that grew from concrete to a flower that sprouts. Tupac said that rose stronger than the one from fresh meadows. And even he wondered, does heaven got a ghetto? Tupac, KRS, public enemy, we charred these albums. For my generation, those that you, Martin and Malcolm's lessons time tested like sundial shadow makers. That's why we don't trust in no mule or in our 40 shallow acres. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got two more quick pieces for y'all. We're gonna keep it moving. So, the first track that we did is called Precarious Work, and as you can see, it's a really loose cover of Solidarity Forever, hence the first lines for Ralph Chaplin. Uh, it's for the Wobblies. This right here is a more traditional cover. 
of said solidarity forever. And we're gonna do it with four verses. So I think Ice is gonna drop the first verse, and then I'm gonna do the next three. Uh, so if y'all are fans of solidarity forever, make some noise. Yeah. I said, if y'all are fans of the song Solidarity Ever, please make some noise. Ready, guys? Get ready. Come on, drop this on them. Yes. Let's go. So we need new leadership. Yeah, well, it's time to change your manuscript. See, the old way wasn't working, so we had to evolve, learn from the mistakes that we made before. And uh, it ain't about working hard, it's about working, working smart. smart. I had a change of heart. The 14 hour days will wear you down. Not a pot to piss in and to throw it out. Huh. So we had to get strategic with it. Execute the master plan with precision. Problem is, as soon as you get past one, another bump in the road is waiting after. Shaking your faith, testing your trust. And all those promises were a bluff. Cause never did I see you rock the boat. Shut your mouth real quick, keep yourself afloat. Mm. While your people is drowning in front of you. What? So we'll ask what does loyalty mean to you? you. For me, it's about standing tall together. What we believe in, not taking no for an answer. So the question remains, how bad do you want this change? Cause I for one am fed up and over red uh -huh. fighting like crabs in a bucket over dollars spent. Mm. Gotta draw that line. Where do you see yourself in a couple years time? Cause over here, we build up for the future. Solidarity forever is the movement. movement. And the hook comes in, y'all. If y'all know the hook, we kind of mix it up a little bit, but it's like, Solidarity forever. What? Solidarity forever. For uh, well, solidarity forever. Forever, forever. Uh, yeah, yeah. We the workers built this land, blood, sweat, and tears. The one who tore the soil, the one who grinded the gears. It is we who plow the prairies under the summer sun. Walk a life of work, but the journey's never done. Build the cities where we live, connect the bricks to mortar. Strike the one is feeble, so shoulder touch shoulder. The burden gets shouldered, with certain we soldier nine to five side by side, surviving on Folgers. But our hands hold a power greater than the house of gold, greater than the might of armies magnified a thousand fold. Bring birth to the world from the ashes of the old. The union is a merger of the workers brave and bold. Unite ourselves between the brain and the bronze, solidarity forever until your breath is gone. All and together, sister brothers, sing the song. The union, yes, the union, the union makes us strong. We used to work nine to five and see the time flew by. Now we fighting over scraps like kitchen fruit flies. Two jobs plus school, still too little. Minimum wage raised and my rent got tripled. Boss at the cottage talking about austerity. Lounging on with Skoka chairs, he ain't trying to share with me. I say the economic action plan is an actual scam. Cause after hand, the factory workers find their access banned. They made this period war between workers and bosses. Makes no sense, it just furthers the losses. Now we really see how much these mergers are costing. Why see we get fired? No, not caustic. Unite ourselves between the brain and the brawn. Solidarity forever until your breath is gone. All and together, sister brothers, sing the song. The union, yes, the union. The union makes us strong. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. And solidarity forever, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. All I know for sure is that this wage in my pocket always best protected by my trade union office. Real leaders got their boots to the pavement. Puppet politicians, no longer complacent. Brave stalemates, be that change agent. Rise to occasion, go and make a statement. We need change now, that's how we won the weekend. No dope a hope to hold afloat, but this is not the season. Life's no fairy tale, we got no night to slay the dragon. Your sword's a picket sign, it's time to strike action. We need to fight the wars and strike for workers' rights and freedom. That real revolutionary, I write to be one. Unite ourselves between the brain and the bronze, solidarity forever until your breath is gone. All and together, sister brothers, sing the song. The union, yes, the union. The union makes us strong. The union, yes, the union. The union makes us strong. The union, yes, the union. The union makes us strong. The union, yes, the union. The union makes us strong. We got one last track for y'all before we go. 
And I just want to say one quick thing. So youtube.com slash socialist hip hop, socialisthiphop.com uh, if you're looking for a website. Uh, Precarious Work, that first track that I did, there's a great music video made by my man Chris that's online. Please go check it out. And we actually, uh, Ice did a music video version of the last track that we just did in support of Hassan Husseini's campaign for presidency of the CLC. That's, that's also online on Hassan's uh, YouTube page, so please go check it out. But now before we go, we got one simple message for y'all. Been telling y'all to do a lot of things throughout this set, but now it's time to rise up. Yeah, so the hook goes like this. Rise up against the capitalism, got us fighting over scraps, killing each other. Rise, rise up against the injustice system, taking our people and packing them in prisons. Rise, rise up. up, police perpetrating all the violence, then use fear to keep us silent. Rise, rise up. up, it's time to stop playing their games, stop cooperating until things change. Uh, how could this be? How could this be? We just lost another one to this police brutality. Got a magnet cause I see E, be speaking truth. Said he watching me hard when I roll through the hood. But it's all good, I'ma tell it like it is. Another body dropped to them, it don't mean shit. If you marginalize, then they close their eyes. It's not a priority, so they turn the other cheek. Huh. What do it matter? Cause it's not like it affects their community. See, justify their actions with systemic backing. So I'm asking now what really needs to happen. As a people to say enough is enough to reaction, so we call it a bluff. Complacency will no longer do to we rise up and take control of, control of our future. Rise up. Against the capitalism, got us fighting over scraps, killing each other. Rise, rise up. Against the injustice system, taking our people and packing them in prisons. Rise up. Police perpetrating all the violence, then use fear to keep us silent. Rise up. It's time to stop playing their games, stop cooperating until things change. So we say breaking up backs, eight to four, then it's five to ten. Working two or three jobs just to stack some ends. Still it seems we can never get ahead. The hierarchy they must sustain to keep us oppressed. Then they want to call us criminals and crooks. Let's talk about who really cooking up them books. Yeah. Lawyers, judges, and officers be getting paid off. You expect me to have faith in the law? Huh. Come on. The scams of corruption is only the beginning. We out here starving, just trying to make a living. You hear what I'm saying? Damn, they fed up, put a fist in the sky, say it's time to rise up. Um, rise up. Yeah, because we're tired of the lies. Tired, tired of the politics that keep our pockets dry. Tired, tired of the promises of jobs that never come. Tired, tired of the misuse of power that falls on us. Tired of the cost of living going through the roof. Tired of the way my people disrespect it. That's the truth. What's the point in standing up for tomorrow if today we lay it down? Time to take what's ours. Join us in unity, can't y'all see? It's our time to leave, best believe, let's get free. Y'all say it with me, rise up. When I say rise, y'all say up. Rise, rise up, rise up. When we say rise, y'all say up. Rise up, rise up. When we say rise, y'all say up. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. We got a big See up. Very, very, very sincerely, I want to thank everyone for the time. Special social action. We were able to do a longer set than they had requested of us. We said, hey, we put something really special together. Can we have some extra time? And it's really difficult with so many speakers, so many artists. And we really, really appreciate this opportunity. If y'all want, I said, some CDs have it out in the front area. Ice the one, Icy East Side, Muhammad yeah, Ali, the yeah. socialist vocalist, broken shit Bolshevik, socialisthiphop.com. Peace. Peace out. is known as a lefty labor side artist, which is one reason we love him. He was the winner of the 2012 Hamilton Music Awards, Folk Traditional Recording of the Year. So please welcome all the way from Hammertown, Brother Steve Sinex. Yeah. I was actually gonna do a, a different kind of set, but why not embrace the traditional? Pictures of tin canners, a marching and unemployed, the Mac Paps in the Spanish Civil War. Gray track protests, stopped by the police, drought stricken farms with no relief. 
We're still friends of our history, we just as soon forget. And knowing we ain't hit the bottom yet. R.B. Bennett, while he might have gone away, I'm afraid we've got worse. It sounds like these. Tommy Douglas, where did it go wrong? They're tearing down the hard work that you do. So it's good for big business, and that's why Jesus saves the newest since the oldest kind of ways. But Larry said the 20th century belonged to us. Well, the 20th century's gone and turned to dust. The story versus the land, well, it's still tearing us apart. So what has changed in times like these? I'll see the hell with capital. All that it degrades. I'm looking for the slow boat back to swing. You can stand up now, or you can take it lying down. There's just too many dead heroes in the ground. And who's to say who owns it all this vast and fertile land? I'll still say no pass it on. You can kill a million workers, but not democracy will get crazy. Sometimes like this. Sounds like these. I can talk for a second. <laughs> Tell you a bit about one of myself. I uh, chopped down a cherry tree when I was a kid. I put it on a different fellow altogether. <laughs> There's a, in, in Washington, D.C., everything kind of gets chopped up. It's very grid-like. I spent a long time touring stateside. And uh, there's an outfit, uh, sort of a, a line called K Street. It's like J Street, K Street, L Street. K Street is where your lobbyists hang out, your Koch brothers' surrogates. Basically much like our own Mr. McKay, professional liars with the morals of a guinea pig. <laughs> anyway, this is one of the perceptions around. This is a tune called uh, Give My Regards to K Street. You're working class and don't ever say you're poor. You're a millionaire in exile, son. You just need one good score. So you smoked your way out of university and you had no cash to get back. I know you'll raise to pay your rent. Your car was a piece of crap. Well, someone's living overseas and he wants to take your life. Ain't your beer in your eyes, see, and he wants to date your wife. Don't turn your back for a moment, Jack. I'll show you how it goes. Just close your brain and hold your nose. the K Street. The schools are looking a little rough, but it's a shame about the roof. In fact, we closed down years ago, this joint looks like big food. We're allowed to dodge, we're number one, and we got what it takes. When you're cruising at 150, man, you don't slam on the brakes. Well, someone's got to pay the bill, you sure as hell ain't me. Islands are looking good, it'll trickle down eventually. What blame is what you wanted, man, and where there's need, there's greed. Just think Christ fits now, you it's there. Our God's the King Street. Come on, regards to King Street. Well, someone's gotta pay the bills, and it sure as hell ain't me. King Islands are looking good, it'll trickle down eventually. Is what you wanted, man, and where this need this greed. Just be right this night, you was there. Flower got the King Street. Flower got the King Street. Flower got the King Street.
as as advertised, I do indeed live in Hamilton. Uh, I think we have a we have a, a distinction. We had a former mayor called a guy named Sam Lawrence who was serving in charge during the 1946 strike, and it was about the closest we'd come in Canada to a total general strike since Winnipeg. Seven out of ten people were out. So all the steel powers that you see now, China, Brazil, a bit of Canada still left, didn't exist as steel powers in 1946. Uh, Europe was bleeding to death. Japan and a lot of the, of the Asian Rim was on fire. The thing was, these guys were building steel to rebuild the world, but they were still bound even into 46 and by wartime austerity measures. There's that word again. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, a lot of guys that came back from the war said, we're not going to do this. And the mayor in town said, and we're not going to let you do that. The premier of the province wanted to bring in the troops, the RCMP, all the guys that had basically broken up everything since, through, and especially during Regina. And Sam Lawrence said, no, nope, you're not going to get a chance to do that. So this is a tune about the 46 strike and a bit about Sam Lawrence tune. And I hope you like it. Because if you don't, there's really not a hell of a lot I can do, but I'm not going to go back to the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I brought this thing. I might as well use it. Yeah, I know. Old school. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, one tip. Don't leave it in the car overnight in the winter like we just had. I played a game with a lip sticking like that. It sounded like a fart. It did. It sounded more like a well-executed fart than her one. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Sam the man, the best man we ever had. A true friend of the working man, well I say three cheers for our man Sam. Well back in 46 they was up to their tricks, the fascists in Europe were done. But there was one more scrap left to go on the streets of Hamilton. Ah, oh, C.D. Howe, tell me now, what the hell did you expect? All the years of war and depression before, man, the workers, they were gonna hit the bricks. Right, star folks. Go on marching down Main Street and double file. All the workers and vets. There he is, oh, Huey Hill. Go fight the union till his dying breath. Well, the powers that were, they would not demure. They said it was time to get tough. They're bringing the troops, they didn't marry Sam Lawrence, and Sam told them to go and get stuffed. I'm a working man first, I'm a magistrate last, so thus goes Sam the man. Business leaders, they could not believe it. You know, a mayor, not a sick of fan. You kids out there, if you ever want to do anything in music, don't use words like sick of fake yourself. It's just... <laughs> 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 All the government's smoking, the wages are frozen, but profits, they go through the roof. The workers are mad because they know they've been had. There's always money for scabs. Ain't there always a budget for scabs? Oh, there's always legislation for scabs. For eight or six days, well, the strike went on on the land, sea, and air. It might not last until 50 minutes if Sam Lawrence had been there. Because I'm a working man first, and I'm a magistrate and last. Oh, let's go, Sam Mayon. Good and drawers getting all hot and bothered by a man who just couldn't be bought off. Well, let's have a handful of Sam the man, the best man we ever had. A true friend of the working man, well, I'll say three cheers for our man Sam. I say three cheers for our man Sam. I say three cheers for our man Sam. Jim's dead and we got it. You know, something like that. <laughs> Just private Enbridge, you know. Go to go to go down, go to Winston's, pass the hat for a worthy cause. Why should that have cost us anything?
seem like yesterday A lasting vision won't go away A day in a charity brought down Compassion nowhere to be found They were yelling and screaming and carrying flags And telling a grieving mother that God hates fags And think you all God hated everyone they call themselves believers, they call themselves the children, they call themselves Christians. When the word of God's in the hands of man, it looks like some business plan, open wallets and closed minds, compassion nowhere to be. and praying they was afraid to we got pray on strangers no one's faith gives them a right to be a bigot no they call themselves believers they call themselves the children they call themselves Christians From pillar to post, the words you always hear the most is love. You know, like love, stranger. And when the hell did you come to attacks when Jesus stands before you, hungry and black, without your ass being stopped? They call themselves believers, they call themselves the children, and they call themselves Christians. No believers, they call themselves the children, they call themselves folks to get through. Lucky, lucky, lucky folks. It's been, uh, it's going to be interesting in the next little while. In, uh, in 2007 or 2008, I think it was about 2008, I was touring uh, the States with a Celtic band. Like a kind of a theater thing. <laughs> hey, you haven't seen me in a Celtic. No, it's really not. It's the, the price is not as interesting as you might think. Anyway, don't worry about it. We're working on it. And there was uh, this outfit called Sheets, and Sheets is like a 24-hour kind of place where you go in, you plonk your card in, and you got a touch screen, right? And you order your food and pump your gas at the same time. So, you know, you, you, okay, I need 30 bucks worth of this, and here's your nachos, butter off, right? Very, very, very low wage, very, very low interest kind of job. And uh, there was a great sign on the wall. It had a big picture of a guy that was modeled on Pat Tillman. You know the big recruiting tool they had that got killed by his own guys? And big army ranger, big jaw, chevrons, the sword, the whole nine yards, you know? And then another picture right beside it was a wee guy in the sheets with the plastic hat and the smock, and it said, and after your second tour, you go right into the assistant manager program. Your first tour, your second tour. So what is it, what is it, you know, what does the assistant manager's program entail? And the guy said, well, instead of making six fifty an hour, this is in Sudbury, Pennsylvania, Instead of making six fifty an hour, you make seven ten, and you only have to work nights for the first two months, not for the first three. So after you've had your earth shot off on a tour overseas, that was your reward. Correct. And the next night, we played a gated community in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, um, which has much, much better security than Borden or Petawawa. I know I've played them both. Much, much better security. And then uh, the night after that, actually two nights after that, we ran for our lives in Greektown in Detroit. <laughs> It was a bit of a whirlwind kind of thing in the States, and this is kind of what came out of that, because if we think our inequities are getting really bad, at least they're not as armed response as the Americans are, but I can guarantee you one thing, if the same guys stay in charge, we'll end up being in that direction. Yeah, that's right. Any road, hope you like it. Last one for me. Thank you guys for having me in. I'm thank, Steve. Thank if you, you like the stuff, you're seeing the stuff. Otherwise, stick around, because there's really good stuff. That's it.
from Mr. Johnson. Good morning, Antoine. Remind me again how long you've been gone. Well, I've been serving my country. Two tours in Iraq. And don't get better around here, man. I'm probably going back. Well, good job with the car. And it's 50 cents for the tip jar. Oh, no, sir, I couldn't possibly hang on with you. Yeah, you're going to need it. You're going to need it. Well, it's kids at school, or ride by motorcade, behind the blacked out windows of an armored Escalade, or sign in at the checkpoint, and then the homeroom, bodyguards for gym class are coming pretty soon, well, do we always have to do this, daddy, and who wants to hurt us that badly, we don't have neighbors anymore, sweetheart, no chances, you're gonna need it, you're gonna need it. So many dots left unconnected So many folks left unprotected Private armies and private cops They only care about private lives And you don't have it going well You're gonna need it You're gonna need it Well, Antoine's part of town Was the place I forgot Cause buses don't rot And buildings fall apart his wife sees the spiral, he's looking for a score. She doesn't recognize her man or her country anymore. And she just wants it to stop. She wants something more than, yeah, go ahead, call the cops. You're making it easy on a man, you better keep your wits, cause you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Oh, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stick around. Check it out. Come on, one more time for Steve. Let's go. Okay, while we're setting up, uh, Sean, are you in the room? Right here. Okay. Okay, sisters and brothers. Our next performer is a roots alternative country singer songwriter with an absolutely beautiful voice. She was the 2009 Canadian Folk Music Award nominee for Best Vocalist with the Claim CD Pirate Days. We're so happy to welcome Sister Mar Marianne Gerard back to our event. So I have uh, actually become uh, someone else. Uh, I am now uh, Fraser and Gerard. This is Alan Fraser. And, uh, or sometimes it's Gerard and Fraser. Or Fraser and Gerard, depends on my mood. Instead of deny, 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 it's comply, comply, comply. Yeah, I don't seem to have any beef. So um, I'm going to start out uh, with a song of mine, and then we'll do two of Alan's, but, but we're, uh, we're doing them together, and then we'll finish with another song of mine, which is a nice sing-along song.
salad, I think the greens are more palatable than, than the uh, blossoms, but we finally did manage to make one bottle of syrup, <laughs> dandelion syrup, which, which uh, inspired this next song, it's called Dandelion Wine. Why do I suit? 
taste the wine. Still taste the dandelion wine. Still taste the wine. Actually, about Baltimore, Ontario, where they used to pick tobacco or cherries or whatever. And this is what I was uh, hanging out in Montreal, learning how to write songs. This is one of my very first efforts, and uh, it's uh, called "Dance Hall Girls" or the Maritime Migrant Song. Oh, you 
Oh, oh. 
what you do, what you're thinking of, to make it all Encountering her at the Winter Folk Festival on Toronto's Danforth. She generously agreed to perform for us tonight. Please welcome Dinah Thorpe. Hard rock miners to the shaft house we must go. Pour your bottle. On our shoulders, we are marching to the snow. On the line, boy, on the line, boy, drill your holes and stand them up till the shift boss comes to tell you you must rip. Can't you feel the rock dust in your lungs? It'll cut down a miner when she is still young. Two years and the silicosis takes hold. And I feel like I'm dying from mining for gold. Yes, I feel like I'm dying. Wow. That song is by James Gordon, who some of you might know of. He's a Canadian folk musician. Guelph. From Guelph, yeah, right on. He, he founded Hillside. 
was one of the founders of Hillside. Um, this is a song of mine, uh, it's called Time to Try. And I'm going to try to rap in the verses. And then um, you guys can sing along with the chorus if you want, since um, Fraser and Gerard got you guys all warmed up. So uh, I'll teach you the chorus, because I know now you can sing. <laughs> Guilty. Uh, I just want to make sure I teach you the right key. Okay. Teach you in the right key, yeah. So um, the chorus goes, It's time to try something else. 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 Time to try something else. And the song is about um, trying something other than capitalism. So uh, I feel that this room is a good place for this song. Other places I play this song, sometimes people are like, ooh, something other than capitalism. I don't know. Like, like, like what would that look like? Oh, I don't know. You know. People start to panic a little bit. So um, I feel like I'm in good company. And this speaker's working, and these ones aren't, so I'm going to try to just hear myself out of the back. Drop this verse like a machine drops chose. Straight up your nose like evaporating euros. The sun is getting lower and the days are getting cool. Tuesday mornings I take my daughter to school where she's being branded by a mega corporation so she can help them with their daily exhortation. You see, not funding schools funds corporations twice. First through tax credits, then through kitty plates. To please buy their magazines, calendars, pens, buckets of cookie dough. Oh, not this again. Watch out, here's where it gets really gross. The kids get prizes for selling the most to their aunties, uncles, cousins, and friends, but the prizes are ads. Prizes are ads, prizes are ads, so sing it again. Yeah. It's time to try something else. 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 I'm gonna spit this verse like a machine spits 20s into your hands so you're left with plenty to chew on whenever you're home tonight. I'm hoping to induce some fight or flight. Okay, this government's signing away billions of dollars again today for F-35 stealth fighter jets. Oh wait, that was yesterday's get. Today it's warships for 35 billion. I may be a silly civilian, but it seems like a lot of money to blow when the workers have no place to go and no transit to get there in. Saddle up and sing it. Saddle up and sing it. Saddle up and sing it again. It's time to try something else. It's time to try something else. It's time to try something else. It's time to try I'm gonna push this verse like condos push purse dogs. In reading hurts done, in fact, you're farming hurts hogs. And yet it seems there's reason for hope. I'm far more likely to mope. There are those who are starting to occupy, and it's catching on with walkers by. We've got songs, pianos, and pens. These are the tools, so sing it again. It's time to try something else. 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 Thanks for singing, guys. Yeah. It's so nice being up here that I'm, I'm going to not talk so that I can do a couple more. Um, this song is called Can I See What's in Your Backpack? G twenty, G twenty.
It's funny how cultures get appropriated as capital kids get procreated and resistances begin to look bifurcated in the face of gangster rap. Can I see what's in your backpack? I'll show you mine. <laughs> Save rap, I'll show you mine. I've got a notebook, a pen, and an apple too. Not a Mac, an actual apple food. Remember those? <laughs> grow our trees. Remember those? Back when there were birds and bees. Remember those? They're in the museums now. Just across the hall from the Queen Lib Seas. <laughs> on the selling of schoolyards when gym class has mostly gone the way of the Yule card. It's looking like a new middle school for fool hearts as they slash and burn. Can I see what's in your school bag? I'll show you mine. Can we see if we can rule peg? I'll show you mine. You must not sit still all day. Thou shalt not waste away. And don't even think of coming home today to raise funds for mini iPads. I think it might be time to dismantle the internet now that it's the only thing that dismantles their intellect yeah. and Facebook owns every time and they intersect, let's call it like it is. Yeah. 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 I might also rap on the erasing of bike lanes with cyclists here dying at the rate of a speed train and most of us are working at the back of the drivetrain while Bryant's in the front. Can I see what's in your pannier? I'll show you mine. Can we see a better plan A? I'll show you mine. Maybe rhyming couplets are not the answer. Maybe we should all do a little royal dancer. Maybe we're requiring a necromancer to commune with the dead. <laughs> Bring them all back, it's an open call for a foot-powered zip down to City Hall or a pedal-powered trip to whatever mall to say, Escalade this. It's funny how cultures get appropriated as capital kids get procreated and resistances begin to look bifurcated in the face of gangster rap. Can I see what's in your backpack? I'll show you mine. Can we see if we can say rap? I'll show you mine. I've got a notebook, a pen, and an apple too. Not a Mac, an actual apple food. Remember those? They used to grow on trees. Remember those? Back when there were birds and bees. Remember those? They're in the museums now. Just across the hall from the cool MCs. You know, the best audience, for sure. I really appreciated how not only did you guys sing along, you also, like, added your own lyric. Like, it's time to try something else. Socialism! Yeah. It's time to try something else. Cooperative! Yeah. Hooray! Right on. Um, I'm gonna do one more. I don't know if anybody here rides a bicycle. Anybody here ride a bicycle? Oh, yeah. Right on. Okay. So, um, I get around by a bicycle. And, um, one morning, uh, I had a really terrible bicycle trip. Uh, down to the bus station in uh, minus 20 and that song. That trip produced this song, it's called Morning Rush Hour in Car Town. And it has a very uh, black velvet kind of uh, chorus that you guys will, you remember? Atlanta Miles, black velvet. Anyway. Uh, you guys will probably pick it up if you feel like singing along. My name is Dinah Thorpe, I forget to say that, so thanks for listening. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so I'm gonna try to remember the words. <laughs> closed today in one direction, so all the motor cars were left with no direction. I'm cooler in a tailwind than I am in a head, but either way, I'll be home and you'll be red. In the face, in your anger, in your frustration, your car was meant to be your emancipation. The ultimate expression of your patriotation to the true North Strong and Auto Nation. But now you're stuck in debt on the cold concrete while we breeze by on two wheels and two feet. It's one of those days where everything tries to push you so hard off your bike. The winter wind Howls like crazy, the bike lanes covered in ice. A coke truck head on on call it. Sure burns covered in glass. It's morning rush hour in Carlton. And everyone's an ass. <laughs> Tuesday morning ride to work and I'm grateful for every layer. It's the morning after election night and things are looking grayer. 
Its potholes jar like Stephen Harper's gun-toting majority. These cars are even meaner with conservative authority. The TDOT bull were on a blitz to teach cyclists how to ride. 13 years on these mean streets, shit, I know how to ride. I'm gonna go on a blitz to teach everyone to ride. It's one of those days where everything tries to push you so hard off your bike. The winter wind howls like crazy, the bike lanes covered in ice. A cold truck head on on COVID, sure burns covered in glass. It's morning rush hour in Carlton, and everyone's an ass. <laughs> Instead of bemoaning gas prices, let's find new ways to get around. Build new kinds of cities and different sorts of towns where we're revered, not sidelined slash, where it's always fun, not a constant clash of your stinking four wheels against my beautiful two. Thanks for listening, Greg. <laughs> You can see it's for real. And, it's not fake. It's real. It's and, real. I don't know if you warm me said that. And a bottle of Cuban rum. And we have some more. And it's real. Yo, ho, ho. Is that real? Cuban Yes, cigars. it's real. This is the Diego and this Rivera. Is, yeah, this is Diego Rivera book. Our book. It's a collection oh, wow. of his murals. Yes, oh, that's cool. Yes, yes. And wow. then we have uh, oh, no, the... You quickly... I don't want to get that. Then we have the book, uh, the yeah, answer, or DVDs, what are the DVDs? Thank you. Uh, Danny K, the Inspector General. That's pretty, that's old school. FX, Blazing Saddles, Mo Oh, that's classic. Great movie. Great yeah, that's, movie. that's classic. Blazing Saddles. And a uh, documentary on the Grand <laughs> and, and the other prize is, is the Stephen uh, uh, Truscott story. Right here. Blazing yeah. Saddles, okay. the power of All right, so, okay. 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 so, so power of buy tickets. Okay, so our next next performer, sisters and brothers, is Sister Diem of Fortune. She's the 2013 nominee for the Canadian Folk Music Awards, Aboriginal Songwriter of the Year Award. Yeah. Earth Beauty, Beauty of Our Time, captures her Prairie Cree, Eastern European, and Social Justice Reef. Roots, also known as Mama D, and of course we work together uh, with, with um, the Sister La Fortuna in the NDP, and we welcome her back to this stage. It's the indictment about a whole bunch of people running away from a place because it sucked, because the system sucked. And coming here and replicating the whole damn system over again because they got it all for free because they stole it from my people.
They're called the Red Letter Jesus Movement, but I'm making it the Red Jesus Movement. Now, you know, I, in my books, what is it? Uh, I don't think he was the Messiah, per se, but he was my homeboy. He was my homeboy. It was nothing. I especially like when he goes into the temple and he throws over the tables of the money lenders, also known as landlords. <laughs> Uh, so I, I went to an event last a couple of nights ago, a couple of nights, and I, I, about 25 people sent me this invitation to this event, and it's like, it's like $40, right? So I said, well, seeing as everybody wants me to go, it appears, I emailed the organizers, and I said, okay, this looks like an interesting event, and there's about 25 people who have invited me to it, so i just tell you something. My people and I have paid enough. I don't pay to go to anything anymore. <laughs> And I was told, we'll leave a ticket for you and a friend at the door. And I'm really glad they did because I left. I, I was boring. It was like, good, good for you, good, good, good. 
feel good. God bless you. Have fun. And when you get your heads out of your arses, I didn't say that.
pretty awesome. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to go down there and sing.
is because the workers aren't allowed time to go to the bathroom. They have to be the poop and the ferns. Brothers, before we bring on, on the brother uh, Glenn Orblas, we, we have a, a singer here, uh, Bela Ray, who wants to come up and sing a song. We got to learn. So thank you everybody for coming out. Give your sons a hand. So I think I have played from the very first one. Yes. And uh, at the free times. I'm sure you had been. Bella, you know what? What do you need? Too much bass? So, you know, uh, it's funny now, everybody, everybody's on film, and I'm actually a videographer myself, so um, I did get uh, one video tonight because I only brought my iPhone because I was busy getting the sound. And uh, um, Mary Lynn and, uh, and Alan Fraser uh, did a great set, and um, I recorded that one song, Baltimore. Do you remember that song? That's a very famous song in the book A lot of people know that song. Alan Fraser is a very well respected songwriter. So uh, it's great to be here, and, and um, I've actually uh, was telling my girlfriend I, I was busy tonight. And uh, she said, oh, we can visit tomorrow night, too. So there's something happening here tomorrow night. It's a, uh, it's a songwriter's uh, evening. And it's called uh, National Bound Songwriter Showcase that I'm putting together. So it's the last Sunday. No, the fourth Sunday of the month. Some months actually have five Sundays. What's up with that? And um, 
tomorrow night we have a, a fellow who was supposed to be here tonight, but he's, he was really sick. I hope he'll be better by tomorrow night. Mr. Billy Heffernan, who is an amazing supporter. A lot of people know him, and he's, he's an amazing supporter of the union movement and unions and workers. So uh, he should be here tomorrow night, along with someone uh, from that I've known for 30 years, Meg Tennant, then Bill Heffernan, or Rich Shimoni will be here. And she calls herself Little Birdie, and Cleela Arrington and Jocelyn Barth, and they have an amazing uh, act. They're, they're mother and daughter, and uh, they do some beautiful music. So I think that all of those people would have been happy to be here tonight. They're all very much uh, in line with the way that, that we all kind of feel. And uh, it is incredible. If anybody wants these afterwards, let me know. It is. Um, Incredible thing. I, I really enjoyed many of the speeches tonight, and, and for instance, and the rap artist uh, Muhammad Ali, who sang at the beginning. Because, didn't, isn't that wonderful to hear such a young person who has, man, he's, he's got the perspective. Like he said, he, he talked about it from his perspective. Um, what's the use of going and getting a, a $6 an hour job, an $8 an hour job, or even, even when it is now $10 an hour? How are you going to, you know, is he going to have a car? Not only that, you know, that um, people of color and people from uh, disadvantaged areas are, are you know, are um, very much under, uh, they, don't, they don't have the same chance of getting those jobs. Like he said, he said, I can't even, in his song, he said, I can't even get an interview at Target. They won't even talk to him at Target. And, um, and we know about all these billionaires, we know about all the, the, uh, the gap between the rich and poor growing. And since the 70s, the middle class has almost disappeared. But there's more millionaires. Uh, like, we, we know that it's, it's out of kilter. There's something terribly wrong now. Well, I, I've been writing songs about uh, social justice for a long time. And uh, there's a song that I wrote about a homeless. Most of these stories are they're real experiences that I had. This one is about a homeless woman that used to live right on Boer Street. Her name was Mary. Or at least that was her street name. And she was bent over at a 45. She had such scoliosis, she was bent over at a 45 degree angle. And uh, after moving into the neighborhood, I began talking to her and, uh, and finding out that she was such an amazing, amazing person. And I'm sure there's people in this room that either saw her or met her. This is a song that I wrote, in, it's more in tribute to her. It's not exactly her real story because I didn't know that. I just kind of. Trying to suppose what her, her story was. Let's go again. shelter at the corner of church and queen she says in broken english she's gone nowhere else to be she's from a town in germany she left before the war and mary's own cries her husband was a tailor he had to stay behind Try to get his parents out, but Mary thinks to die. Now she spends her nights alone, freezing in the cold, and Mary's only crimes going on. Whoa, people, is anybody free? Long as some folks have too much and some don't have.
carries her belongings in a broken down shopping cart. Says she ain't been well for a while. She motions to her heart. I offer her a coffee and maybe a dollar or two. She says, thank you, dear. I don't know what else to do. And some don't have anything. Mary lives in a bus shelter at the corner of Church of Queen. She says in broken English, she got nowhere else to be. A thousand people pass her by, a thousand people scorn, and Mary's only crime. Mary's only crimes being born. Mary's only crimes being born. Thank you. Thank you very much. Someone was still acting after that song. And she lived in Rosedale. And a uh, middle-aged woman, she said, do you know what's wrong with that song? I said, what? She said, nobody has too much. Oh, oh, oh. That is a, that's precisely where you and I did. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Too much so, uh, all these songs are on my uh, CD, and this is how we songwriters make money. But I, have, I only have a few of them here tonight. My CD was called Once in a Blue Moon. It really did take me 30 years to save up enough money to make a, a CD with a real producer and, and great musicians. So it's called, it's called Once in a Blue Moon, and I don't know, I don't know, when, but I, I do know there were some critics who said they hope it, is, they hope uh, it won't be another Blue Moon before I put out another one. So I do have some songs, and I'll play one tonight that's uh, not on that CD. But here's another one that's on the CD, and it, it was. Um, Music that I love, uh, down in, in Texas, there's a, a form of music that's kind of like called Americana. It could just as easily call, be, be called Canadiana. But it's just a mix of folk and country and blues. And this is a song I wrote that's kind of an homage to Towns Van Zandt. He was a great songwriter. So this is called Loretta. It's just a little love story about a songwriter who's in love with a, uh, a waitress. Drug and 
drive him and I'll go lose mine. Try singing this with me. La 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 Honoretta, forgive me if I was unkind. Love is a drug, it can drive a man out of his mind. Oh, love is a drug, it can drive a man out of his mind. Love is a drug, it can drive a man out of his mind. people in society seem to think about the homeless, that, you know, it's their own fault to be there. I mean, you can look in the paper anytime there's an article and read the comments, and it's, it's disgusting, you know, I don't know if it, it's just Ralph Ford's people who uh, are writing the comments, but, you know, um, some of them are, some of there's, 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 everybody has a right to be stupid. Are people, um, every, there are people who are on the streets who think Ralph Ford is the greatest thing. Maybe, maybe it might be so. But um, I think we know, and we know that the solution is to to uh, make it make it a good society for everybody, not just the rich. And um, you know, but it's kind of the systemic problem that, that some of the speakers have talked about is that as he, as they promised uh, tax cuts to people, it inevitably leads to service cuts, and then it's terribly, terribly difficult for any succeeding government to restore that. I, I actually ran into McGinty in a supermarket. And I said, and, and, and he, he saw me looking at him and I'm sure he was thinking, I'm getting out of here really fast. But I grabbed his card and I said to him, Mr. McGinty, you, you promised to restore the, uh, the cuts to social services that Mike Harris enacted and you never did. And he kind of looked sheepish. Yeah. and said, well, you know, he's certainly a nice person and he certainly has that persona. And he said, well, um, he said, but we do have the highest uh, um, uh, minimum wage in Canada. And I said, well, that doesn't help uh, a, woman, a woman with, with children who, who can't leave them anywhere to go and work in the past. And anyway, I mean, I, I could have brought up a million examples, but we were there in a supermarket and he just kind of said, he just kind of shrugged and said, well, we'll try and do better. This was before the, the scandal uh, with, the, uh, with, 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 the gas plants, with the gas plants. And and pretty soon, this is what guys do. They, they resign so they don't have to take the defeat. I mean, you know, and really, if if, if Hudak gets in, it, it's just, it's evil. Because uh, we know what, uh, well, we know what Harper has done to the country as a whole. And Hudak would enact you know, these policies are just as bad. I, I work for um, the environment, I'm a federal civil servant, and um, I don't know if people realize, um, the climate change budget 
this year was cut from $250 million to $50 million. It was cut by 80%. We spend fifty million dollars on climate change. There's, there's that much but there's no climate change. Anyway, um, I, I'm just I'm just saying there's so much work that we all need to do, and I'm very glad that there are people that that really believe in, in doing this. So anyway, a different topic. Here's a, here's a song about uh, homeless people. We'll give you a chance to sing along on the chorus. It's just one word: homeless. And I see someone's recording this here, and I, I just love it if you could all sing along with that, with that chorus. You'll, you'll see many people in this song that you've probably met on the street.
even do something for those people. You wouldn't go around and give $20 to about 100 people at some community center and things like things that. Yeah. Right. So, um, uh, I'm going to do just uh, one more for you. And thank you so much for seeing all of that. You might want to come back here and enjoy the music. There's some really great songwriters for you. And uh, they're, they're a new generation songwriters. They're a lot younger than me, also. And uh, they really deserve to be heard. And you like to hear it a few times. There's one place where there's a really great respect for the music. And, and there's not too many places where you can play in a nice, quiet room where people are listening. So thank you so much for coming. It was great to you. On one of my travels, I, uh, I was in New York City, and uh, I just wrote kind of a love song in New York. I like to go there with uh, my partner, my girlfriend, and we um, we like to go to the, the jazz clubs uh, in Greenwich Village. And, uh, you know, the expensive ones are a little too expensive for us, so we go to the really cheap underground ones, like one that's called Smalls. You know, go to the like, yeah, Smalls. This is a song, kind of a love song to New York City. It'll give you a chance to sing along again in the chorus. And the chorus is a good